Today we're back working on the mistress. I remember back in the eight, early 80s, uh, when I first saw these first gen Camaros, one of the first things caught my eye was uh, when it had that little sporty rear spoiler on it. And as you can see, mine doesn't have one. So I've purchased a rear spoiler and we're gonna see what it's gonna take to get it installed. Okay, so here's the spoiler that I'm going with. This one is made by OER. Um, interesting in the box, you get what you see here. You get the, the actual plastic spoiler, and, and mine, the studs were already installed, which I'm sure is pretty normal. What you don't get is a template, and you don't get the mounting hardware. So, and I think I knew that already, because I actually physically separately ordered also than the mounting hardware which comes with the eight different nuts, uh, four flange nuts and four acorn nuts that are the appropriate hardware for it. So anyway, you got that, so that's okay. But I wanted to go over this particular spoiler as well, just kind of first glances at it. And I've actually seen some other videos and interesting I've noticed where people have other spoilers from other manufacturers, they appear to have the same flaws. So what I, ha I have a feeling is these are all manufactured by one person and they are then private labeled out to all these different um, classic car parts distributors and, and they put their name on it that type of thing because anyway so i'm going to go over i'd like to go over some of the details of what possibly i kind of don't like about or don't like about it but be careful with that i'm always in the perception that when i buy a part like this whether it's a spoiler or maybe it's a metal body part I don't expect them to be perfect. I expect them to be 98%. Give me, give me 98% of the way there. I will then trim and and do all the little modifications to make that then fit my particular application. I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this product. I, this is a great. This is extremely stiff. It's it's a very good product. It just needs to be tweaked a little bit. Um, and when I really close look at it, one of the things I noticed is they engineered it like one side of it, and then they flipped. The drawing in half, I think, and they just put them together, merged it all together, made the mold, and that's how they did this because the flaws on one side equal the flaws on the other side. But um, um, so the first thing I noticed, like this, this whole top right here has got a really nice curve to it, and it's actually I thought it was different, but looking down it on this direction, it's actually very straight. I thought it would have a little bit of curve to it, but it's relative. So I'm good with that. One of the things you probably can see, and if not, I'll insert a little, uh, either a video clip or a picture that illustrates it, is there's some reinforcements on the inside, and everywhere they have that reinforcement here, I can see it here, I can see it here, and probably, actually, yeah, well, way over here, is uh, everywhere they have the reinforcement, it's actually pushed out a little bit. This is going to need some body work down the line if you wanted this to not, to, to really look better. Um, this actually is going to flare up a little bit and then come back flare back down. You're going to need to, to kind of body work that. But, you know, it is noticeable even in the in stages here. You don't have to paint or say It's because there's a shiny. You can kind of tell it. Um, so that surface actually needs to be worked a little bit. The piece I was a little bit concerned about is, is this actual front edge here. And I believe I can insert a video that's going to help illustrate my point. From the end to the center, this actually bends, comes out toward me, toward the front of the car, comes back in, and in the center, and this is again, this case on all, this is the piece that I noticed on all of the other, I think it was two different other manufacturers, is this piece right here has a pretty sharp curve in it uh, to try and get it, get, come back to the other side, but the other side also has that where it flares out. Um, so, and I think, you know, I'm going to take the time to try and get that, you know, more of a, when you look down this, you're gonna wanna be able to see that that has just a real nice casual curve to it. And then the other thing I just noticed um, a little while ago while I was prepping for this and getting this table set up is on this on the bottom edge of this leading edge where this, this has a certain thickness right along here, it gets right in here, get, you can probably see it, and I'll take a picture if not, uh, this, this is taller so this this bottom edge right here um, actually comes and dips down and comes back up. So that's not going to sit on the deck lid very, and that's the surface that gets pulled down to the deck lid. That's not going to sit on there very nice. So that's going to have to definitely be work to make this thing fit 
a little better. Again, it's extra material. I can take that off. I can make it perfect. I'm, I'm not that worried about um, having to physically modify this. So, um, I mean, I really didn't look too closely at the back. The back is actually relatively nice. Um, we'll be able to work with that as well. For this video, for sake of trying to get this on the car for the purposes of why I'm doing it, I'm gonna get, we're really going to work really mostly on getting, getting the template built, getting the holes drilled properly, and then getting this thing installed. I might or might not, I won't on this video, I might later finish this temporarily, or I might leave it for a little while until this car goes under a full restoration. One last thing that I want to illustrate that I think is where a lot, I see the, the two videos I worked, watched, they did not compensate for this. And that is that these studs, these studs are perpendicular to the surface of this as, as they are. So this, at the front edge of this spoiler, where this hit the deck lid, this comes in perpendicular to the deck lid. But the deck lid then dips down and these studs are actually, are actually perpendicular to the deck lid at the back. So these two studs, and I'm going to show a picture of that, these studs are not parallel to each other. And where people are making a mistake is they're setting this, they're putting sheets of paper on the back of their deck lid, they're setting this on there, and they're setting the deck lid until it hits these studs, and they're marking these studs. That's not the distance that these holes need to be drilled. Uh, you, the drill holes need to be drilled at the distance at the surface of where this will end up, not at this surface. So anyway, we're going to take into consideration, i got an idea, I'm going to use some of the cardboard that, that this was shipped in uh, to use for my template and um, probably actually going to do that next. Alright, so i got my template blank cut out and I went ahead and marked it. This is the top, meaning it's the top surface, not, not touching the car, but away from the car. And I labeled it as front, front of the vehicle, and this is the front of the spoiler. So we're going to be taking this and putting it on here. And it's definitely big enough to get the whole thing, because ultimately when this thing does get pushed up against this bottom surface here, I want to, I'm going to be able to trace this out. I want to be able to transfer the profile of this spoiler onto this piece. So when I lay that on the car, I can actually adjust this as if it's the bottom of this piece and, and get those holes mounted just right. So I'm just going to take this, and you're going to scream when I do this, because I just told you it's not what you do on the car. But on this, I think it's what we want to do. If I do that, I got plenty of extra material in my template around that. So that's where I want it. I'm going to push this down to let these studs make their mark. That's not going to be the permanent place. We're going to make adjustments to that. But let's get those make their mark. And then let's pull that out. Yep, you can see those very well. And then what I'm going to do, let me show you, on the back ones, this back one did not do very well. Alright, let's get that back on there. Yeah, it's not touching. Pressed it up in there. That one's touching. This one's not touching very well, so I'm going to lift this up. Alright, perfect. Alright, I'm going to mark the holes. Here's where those studs popped holes. That's where the studs are, but again, they're not parallel. And that, But I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut out a section that's more slotted. So I'm going to cut out that's close, so it's going to be bigger, so probably like this. We're going to do that for all eight holes so that we can take this template, push it up where we want it, and then we're going to actually tape these washers. We're going to take washers and tape them exactly over the center of the stud. That's going to be the Give me the location of those studs where it is against the, the actual spoiler itself. 
I want to know that. And I got a special way that I'm going to take these so I can get it back off. Let me let me get these cut out. Let me show you the next step. What I'm thinking. Okay, so I got those slots cut out for all eight positions, and I took this template over to the car and actually put a little bit of a a roll in it. I wanted to try and kind of match the contour of, of the of the deck lid as best I can. We'll handle that. And you know, obviously all the the studs stick out properly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually push this up. I want these studs to be in the bottom of this section. Give me plenty of room back here to make sure I'm on the template. And I definitely want from these studs, I want more room on the top. I think you'll see that in a minute. And I'm going to start on th th this, this one and this far end, get them set, and that way I can really get these two set perfectly. And what I've done is I've created, I've taken my washers and I've got on um, some cellophane tape or this is like packing tape is what it is. I stuck the washer to it, then I cut out the center. So I should be able to come in here to this first one here, push this up, center it, make sure I'm not binding anything else. About there. Center that washer on there and stick it. There's one. I've got another one. While keeping that centered, I'm going to raise this one up. Find its position. Hold it. Get this one Now, what I don't mind is now that we're on the, these, these washers are about three eighths. They're bigger than these studs and that's fine. We're going to be drawing, drilling a three eighths inch hole in the deck lid. We need that space. The reason you need the space is to be able to get this on because of these aren't parallel and you also need that space. Once you get it on, that gives you some adjustability in the spoiler to get it, get it flush. Ultimately, this back edge of this spoiler wants to be flush with the back edge of the deck lid. So. That's what we're going for. But now that I got these installed, I can make them just stay at the bottom and then I'll be able to install these washers, making sure they're touching here at the top and the spaces at the bottom, just like that. So I should be able to, I almost need to put a nut on that one. If I hold that right there, I get my other one ready. Put this on where it's touching along the top. Okay, and again, so now my object is I'm going to, I need to prep these. These I'm not going to put the tape on like this. I'm just going to tape, tape the upper side. I want to put this on there and only have tape coming up because this washer really, if I center it just right, and I'll do the same thing since these are touching, I'll have this touch here. The, to get this thing off, I have a feeling this washer is going to need to move that way a little bit to get it off. <clears throat> and um, I actually hope that I can just, I, this is so close, I'll be able to pull this off first and pull that out. And that's really the way the thing will install in the deck lid. So um, I think I will load these up just like I did these. So let me get that done. I'll get those installed and then we'll, we'll see, I'll pull you back where you see how it, it can come off. Okay, I went ahead and installed all four nuts on these shorter rear studs. I pulled my template down. Um, toward me so until the the inside of this washer is now against this stud and then I pushed down and I actually just thumb uh, hand tightened that down 
that actually kind of reinstituted that little curve that I put into the form. So now it's sitting kind of right where it needs to be. The other thing, I went ahead and, and prepared the next four washers again with the packing tape and the hole in the center. And I'm going to install these on here so again that the top of this washer is touching this top of this thing. You know the the center of this stud down to the center of this stud is the same as the top of this stud to the top of this stud. That's, the top's the same, the center's the same, the bottom's the same. So anyway, I'm going to, now that that's in that position, and it's pushed down right where it is, I'm just going to pull this down, let it rub against there, center it left and right a little bit, and install these, these washers around them. What that's ultimately going to give me is these washers are now in the right place left and right and they're, they're in the perfect position I believe here uh, to represent where we're going to drill our holes in our deck lid. So there's, there's the first one. Alright, and so now the last thing I want to do is I'm going to loosen these back up and I'm going to recenter it, recenter it in these holes and then tighten them back down, flip this over, mark this, this back edge and then we'll trim this to size. So this represents the footprint of our deck, of our um, spoiler and then we can represent now take that over to the deck lid. All right, I got the bottom and the sides marked. The top, I don't really care. When you install these, you want this back edge here flush with the back of the deck lid. Wherever the front lands, it lands. There's no, there's nothing you can do about that. And all the templates I've seen basically do everything from the deck lid bottom and sides, and um, they don't represent the top either. I think it's a good idea. So now I can take the template off, cut it to shape, and we'll see how it fits on the deck lid. Okay, the next thing that I needed to make sure is I knew on this bottom edge of my template where the center was. So I'm, I marked the center line of that. I can't remember now what the total length was and what it did, but I got that centered. And then I wanted to do the same thing with the car. So I went ahead and put some strips uh, of tape on here. This is what I'm actually going to draw my center lines and my holes and stuff on. And uh, this would be a great place also to put my center line. Uh, my, my gaps are very even so I'm going to assume that that uh, the trunk the deck lid itself is is centered in the car um, I don't think I've had body work or anything done on these rear quarters so they're good they should be factory and should be the same I actually did not check that but that's fine um, my deck lid from this little corner to the other corner was 51 and 13 sixteenths half of that is 25 and 19 30 seconds so I measured from here to the center and got that marked. That's going to make my job a lot easier. Um, I'm now going to be able to bring, again, I want to bring my template where I think it's flush with the bottom and I want my center lines to be there. And then I kind of just double check that. I got, looks like a quarter inch there. And interesting, not a quarter inch there. So I've got to, I think I want to adjust that. I can't have my deck lid not or my spoiler not look centered so uh, all right there we go i'm going to eyeball this and then i'll measure it 
Okay, so that looks that looks right. It's going to be off this line by by one line width is what I got to do. So let me get some tape on this and get this thing kind of tacked on here where I think it needs to be. Make some final eyeball looks on it, whatever. And ultimately, what I'm trying to do is get these washers where I need them so I can mark uh, where those holes go. So let, let me get this put in place. I'll be bring you right back. Okay, that represents where I want this spoiler to be. I got even edges on both sides. I think I've got right where this this edge is is now flush up and down uh, with the end. <clears throat> and I'll be honest with you, this cardboard is a little thicker than probably what we should I should have used, or I should have then transferred this maybe over to something a little smaller. It is wanting to stay straight, and I really would like it to bend a little better, but. Uh, this is holding where it is. I got these these washers are showing me exactly where to mark my deck lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer transfer these whole locations over to this, and uh, we will start moving forward. Okay, two there, one here near my marking here, and then uh, two and two, so there's our circles. What I'm gonna do next, I'll go ahead and center punch those, and we'll get a small um, pilot hole drilled in each one. Now each one again, I wanna drill them perpendicular to this surface. So in this case, this one's gonna be drilled at this angle, while this one here is gonna be drilled at this angle. Um, and then we're going to check also in the deck lid. Some of these have are actually positioned specific. There might be some access holes underneath this. I think these three possibly do not. And then therefore we'll we'll we drill that little pilot hole all the way through. This one will be three eighths, and then we'll go from the bottom side. We're actually going to drill a one inch opening from the bottom side. I think on these three to get those uh, acorn nuts. I believe these ones get the acorn nuts, but. Okay, so I just check each of these upper holes actually line up with a large hole that's in the an abrasive brace piece. So every all four of them line up with our, an our existing hole on the back side. So we just got to drill this hole. This hole basically just comes out in the underneath here. It's just one little thickness. So and that's all the way across. So it's a matter of just drilling these eight holes, and uh, we should be able to pop this thing on and secure it realistically. So. All right, finally I'm going to use this little step bit. Uh, the third position, I've got it marked with a little sharpie, but third position is 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to take all these holes up to 3 eighths. from the other room and let's see how it fits. I think I want to put these longer studs in first. Alright that's down that's down tight. I can see where that little Thick spot here is so it's gonna. We need a little work here, and then uh, it does have a little bit of adjustment room with those size holes. But where it sits right there, I need to push up on this side just until it stops. That's perfect, and that's perfect. So that's exactly where did it drop in the end? Yeah, dropped in these bottom holes. It's sitting right where it needs to be. So. Um, Man, that's pretty neat. Uh, that, that did not take very long at all other than some added time for, for filming. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spoiler off. I'm going to uh, take the tape off. And I'm actually going to use, I'm going to take some spray primer, just some rattle can primer, spray it into a rag or a cup or something. 
and then use a Q-tip to, uh, after I get this tape off, use a Q-tip just to touch in here and put a little bit of primer on this spot right here. And then for the purposes of what I need this folder on here for, I'm not going to make those other adjustments yet. Um, this car, I'm, I'm trying to prep it. Uh, in several weeks, my oldest son's getting married, and they have him and his fiance have asked that they want to drive away in this car. And so we're just doing some of the little things just to kind of add the little features that we like. Uh, we're going to wash it and polish it. You know, this, this is a second paint job of the, from the original paint. This is not the original paint, but uh, we'll polish it out. Just get it as close as we can. And, but I wanted to get the spoiler on. Doesn't fit perfect. This car, in a couple years, will go through a full restoration. At that point, we will, we will make this spoiler fit perfect. We'll get all those pieces that I mentioned, those flaws, uh, knocked out of this spoiler and, and get it uh, in a nice, in the same color as the car, obviously. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you following along. Hope this helped. Um, you know, with the, si the ultimate size of these holes and the size of these studs, um, it, it may be a little bit hard to get it wrong, but, uh, and I may have been a little overboard on my approach, but I kind of wanted to take a more of a technical approach. I'm a very technical person, and I um, wanted to make sure I got things. I didn't want to have watering holes and stuff, but anyway. So I appreciate you following along. If you like this type of level of content, um, again, this car will go under full restoration maybe in a couple years. Uh, but I do have a, another restoration on my site that, uh, that I'm documenting, a restoration of an old Jeep CJ7. And, um, you know, if this, this is the kind of content you like, you might want to take a peek at those videos. Uh, I can't even remember now how many videos we got on that. But uh, I've got a few more things I'm going to do to this car real quick, get those processes done, get them videoed, and get those up. And then I'm going to flip back over to uh, Project Rowdy, the Jeep restoration. Um, so appreciate you following along, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.